Display feet mode. Enter the height of the patient in feet. Press enter. Then enter the patient's height in inches and press enter again. It's as easy as that. In this case, a 6 foot 2 inch person weighing 205 pounds has a BMI of 26.3, which is a healthy body mass index as illustrated by the bar graph across the bottom right side of the display. With the 758C, you can disable keys you don't want to use. Power on the 758C and immediately press and hold the lock release key until it displays setup on the indicator. Once in setup mode, press the enter key until you get to the VTN setting. Press enter once to show the current value. If the value displayed is acceptable, press the enter key to save it. Otherwise, use the numeric keys to enter a new value, then press the enter key to save it. Allowable values are 0, 1, 2, or 3. In this case, we have entered 1 and are disabling the net gross and tear keys. Toggle through the remaining calibration modes until you get to done and then hit enter. The indicator will go straight to way mode. As you see here, the net gross and tear keys are locked out now. The numeric values for disabling keys are 0 for no keys disabled, this is the default value, 1 for net gross and tear keys disabled, 2 for ID height key disabled, 3 for net gross, tear and ID height keys disabled. For ID storage without a known tear weight, put the object being teared on the scale. Press the ID height key. The display will change to show ID. Using the numeric keys, enter the ID number. In this case, we're using 96. Note, you can use ID numbers from 1 all the way up to 99. Press the Enter key. The display will show 0.0 .0 and the tear enunciator will be displayed. Press the tear key. The weight display will change to 0 and the net enunciator will illuminate, indicating the net weight is being displayed. The item's weight has been entered as the tear weight. To recall the ID, press the ID height key and the 758C will show the last ID entered. Pull up the value you want, then push the enter key. The indicator will go into the tear mode, displaying the stored value. If this is acceptable, press the enter key. The indicator will go into net mode. For ID storage with a known tear weight, press the ID height key. The display will change to show ID. Using the numeric keys, enter the ID number, in this case we're using 97. Press the enter key. The display will show 0.0 .0 and the tear enunciator will turn on. Use the numeric keys to enter the known tear value. For illustration purposes, we're using a wheelchair with a weight of 25 pounds. The weight display will show the negative net weight as long as no weight is on the scale. The item's weight has now been entered as the tear weight. Press the gross key to return to normal weigh mode. To recall the ID while a patient is being weighed in their wheelchair or walker, press the ID height key and the 758C will show the last ID entered. Pull up the value you want, in this case 97. Then push the enter key. The indicator will go into tear mode, displaying the stored value. If that is acceptable, press the enter key. The indicator will go into net mode. The indicator is now showing the patient's weight only of 179.6 pounds without the weight of the walker or wheelchair. When they are removed from the scale, the negative net weight from the stored ID is displayed and can be zeroed out by pressing the zero key. One of the primary new features of the 758C is serial connectivity, which provides output to a printer or computer for recording weight, BMI, height, time, and date. Data sent to a PC is very useful in electronic medical record keeping. Printing weight data is easy with the new 758C. Once a printer is connected to the 758C serial port, it's just a matter of pressing the print enter key. In this case, a 6 foot 2 patient weighing 206.4 pounds is having their BMI calculated. With a simple push of the print enter key, the data is output to a printer giving you a paper copy, weight, BMI, height, time, and date. Connect the 758C to a computer by using the serial port and you now have efficient electronic medical record keeping useful in physicians' offices, weight loss clinics, or athletics. Once again, by pushing the print enter key, the weight data is sent to the PC and can be automatically inserted into a patient's medical records with the push of a button. This gives you the option of having weight, BMI, height, time, and date inserted electronically into your medical records simply by pushing one key. To stabilize the IB600 for weighing a patient, you must first adjust the scale's legs to a wide stance. To achieve this, first lock the wheel brakes, then grip the cam handle and twist it in such a manner that the pin is moved from the base's right hole and into the base's left hole. Secure the handle by positioning it vertically above the proper hole. After weighing, to close the legs in preparation for transport of the scale, twist the cam handle in the opposite direction. Please note that a patient should never be transported on this scale. 
It is strictly intended for weighing patients who are bed bound and should always be brought to the bedside. When putting the scale in position to weigh a patient, after the scale legs are spread and stable and the wheels locked, lower the stretcher hoops by turning the hydraulic switch counterclockwise. This will open the valve. Gently drop the hoops near the bed so that the stretcher, which will be under the patient, can be easily attached. To stop lowering the stretcher, simply move the hydraulic switch back in the other direction, clockwise. This closes the valve and stops the stretcher from lowering. To then raise the stretcher, you just have to pump the handle until the stretcher is slightly off the bed and the weight can be taken. One last feature of the IV600 that deserves mentioning is the double hook assembly located on the upper part of the boom. This feature is for long-term storage of the stretcher hoops, which may be removed with a wrench from the regular in-use position and placed conveniently out of the way on these hooks. To transport the IV600, remember to roll the stretcher up, place it in the cup bracket, secure the Velcro straps, and make sure the scale legs are together securely. Thank you for your attention to this video and your purchase of the IV600 Waymobile. If you have further questions, please refer to the owner's manual you received with this skill, contact your area sales representative, or contact Detecto at either of the numbers, the website, or the physical address shown on the screen. We look forward to serving your healthcare weighing needs in the near future.